this is today's job. We need to put the lintel on here. We've got three course of pattern going over the lintel. We're not doing soldiers. We're doing a similar pattern to what's on the existing house, but they're imperial bricks. So we're gonna do three courses of our 65 mil bricks. Little detail, what we're gonna put in here. This is all gonna be rendered. So once we've done that, we're gonna move on down the side. Bit of existing brickwork to put right. Uh, so yeah, lots to do. So that's where we are at now. We've packed in between all of our timbers and the ladders. So nice and sturdy, all built in. Now to do a bit of pattern. Right, so this is what the pattern's gonna be like. We've done the same below. I've run it out dry, just the corner to see how it's gonna look. Uh, and then I'll probably just put a dead man over there just so I can run it out and it'd be right. Or I could just copy what's below, because we've done the exact same below, so it should be okay. Yeah, should work. So, let's have a go at building this. Right, so this is the pattern we are going for. Only issue is, we have got gauge. If anything, I've crashed down a little bit. See that, 215, should be 225. My top brick is hitting that rafter. So I'll be able to get this pattern on nice, these two. And then I'll probably just have to cut around these, which is oh, going to be a fucking... I don't mind doing that, but it's just not going to look as sharp and as nice as I wanted to. Anyway, there's this first bit of pattern. So I did decide to run it out dry. And it does work like I thought it would. So I may as well just set up a corner rather than put a dead man. And then we know exactly where we're going. So let's do that now. Then we can run it all in. get that course over that didn't seem to go on very nice but I've got a big overhang here so obviously I've stepped out 10 mil there my lintel is already 10 mil back or about so I've got about a 15 mil overhang so not the best it's not bad once I get this second course on it should solid it all up should be all right
okay so we've done our three course of pattern it don't look too bad definitely need to point in a minute because it's a bit wet uh, these bricks are a bit saturated still so definitely need to point it and then probably leave it for a whack the concrete's on top put a little prop here it was all starting to lean a bit forward so i've put this here just to help it I should, probably should have done that in the first place but yeah we'll get this pointed have a cup of tea and then we'll do the block work and then do the returns as well so we have pointed this up here still wants a bit of a brush but overall not too bad at all so now we've got to just do the return see how that goes so we've just done this pattern as well the side the front is done sorry and we've done the side overall not too bad a bit of a ball ache we had to cut round the rafters but overall not too bad so now we'll go get set up on the other side so I've only got a bit of compo left before snap so what I'm gonna do is just set this corner up so it's going off and uh, yeah then mix up after the break got the Queen's closure cut already to get me back to our fond so put all the cups there I've run it out it works which is nice so let's give it a go I fucking got the wrong trowel again 12 inch no good 10 inch that's better Just going to let this go off and then we'll run it in. As you can see, fucking dirty. Sand. Sand, all touching. And then just make sure it's plumb on the back slightly out, which means I want to tap that in a bit. Smack on. There we go, we'll let that go off. Run it in after break. Right, so that course has just gone on. Fucking ball ache with my timbers in the way. But instead of spreading loads, what I like to do when I've got dead tricky stuff like this, is use a small trowel, and then instead of getting your muck on the side of your blade, like you normally do, just get a little bit on the tip, slap, there you go, and then scrape it onto your brick. That's what I like to do anyway. Right, one more course and then uh, back on the gable for a bit of block work so we have finished up this side all pointed and brushed looks quite nice actually so we're about to do the block work gable which is nice uh, I do need to put a load of headers on here later on but that's like last thing 
and then we've just got a little bit of infill down there with the original house bricks. This detail here is just block work rendered. Need to set it back 10 mil. But I just need to stick a little cross so it's in keep. So we'll figure out how to do that in a bit. Uh, so yeah, let's crack on. Right, so this is where we're at with the front gable. Now, what I've done, because he wants a little diamond, not diamond, sorry, little cross in the centre, I've gone right to the top of my ridge. I've plumbed down, it's dead hard to see. Right, there you go, I've plumbed down. I've marked it on the wall there. And that is where my first soldier is going. And then I've also plumbed down even further and I've measured my opening and I've got five, nine, five, nine, five, five, nine, five, either side. So not only is it centre off my roof, centre off the window opening. So hopefully it all works out, we'll see. Nah, let's make it fucking plumb. Right, so it's plumb that way. Level on top. Now, there's my mark. Are we still centre? Could come over to me a little bit. And now, I've just got to check if it's plumbing with a pattern down here. Not far off. Tap on the back. Not bad. Okay. Let me check if it's plumb again. First bit done. I had a magnet over them.
fucking buzzing. It looks pissed from there, but I promise you it's not. Sad. Okay, so this is the finished uh, product of the gable anyway. Still need to do a bit more down here, but we'll do that in a minute. Just had a clear up. So we need to fill in the jaunts with insulation. Tell you what though, I am fucking buzzing with that. Dead happy. Right, so we are pretty much done for the day. Bit of fill in between these rafters. Still need to come back Saturday. But overall, really happy with how today's gone. Really happy with this dental course. Special little cross. It looks, looks mint. I'm really happy with that. So, yeah, a little bit to do on Saturday, but not too bad.